Hello, hello, hello to our chat and chew family. I am your girl, Special K, and this is my co host, Miss Ebony. Mm-hmm. Uh, tonight, we want, well, first of all, let me say, because it is the Monday after Mother's Day. So let me say happy Mother's Day to you beautiful ladies out there, um, mothers of natural born children and mother figures, because I'm sure at mm-hmm. some point in time in our life, all women have played some kind of mother role. So happy, happy <laughs> Mother's Day uh, to you ladies from mm-hmm. Chat and Chew, WWE. All of us. And um, mm-hmm. we want to welcome you if this is your first time right. um, joining us. And we want to welcome you back if you're already a part of the Chat and Chew family. Now, we need our two families to come together, meaning our Chat and Chew Facebook, mm-hmm. joining with our Chat and Chew um um, YouTube mm-hmm. and vice versa. So if you're on YouTube and you have not joined the chat and chew on Facebook, please go over to the Facebook after yeah. our live and subscribe and like to our page. And if you're on chat and chew in the Facebook and you're not on the YouTube, please be sure to subscribe, subscribe, like in our episode. And also make sure you share with yeah. everyone you're part of. Please, 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 please share. Please, 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 please share. Mm-hmm. So tonight, we're going to have a guest host, mm-hmm. um, a little younger than we usually do, you know, but <laughs> we like to get the opinions of everybody. So, Ms. Right. Ebony, you want to introduce our guest host? Yes, I would like to introduce and welcome. Um, he's like a son to me. Um, he's <laughs> one of China's best friends, mm-hmm. and they have known each other for some years now for quite yeah. some time. So let's welcome Mr. Anthony. Yes. Hello, Mr. Anthony. Mm-hmm. How welcome. Are you? Can you hear us? Anthony, can you hear us? <laughs> Anthony looked a little stuck. Can't see us. <laughs> he might have to go out. Anthony, if you can hear us, um, go out. Yeah, come back. Okay. So we're gonna wait for him, see if we can get him back up there. Mm-hmm. But um, so what did you do? Um, you know, this year was it anything different from Mother's Day? Uh, this celebration versus last year? Um, no, not really. Mm-hmm. Um, my kids um gifted me money. Mm-hmm. I need to get a new set of tires on my truck. So mm-hmm. my kids are paying for that for me. So that's mm-hmm. like awesome. But um, I spent Saturday and Sunday um, uh, spending time with my mom okay. and some other moms or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, we went to my grandmother's grave site, which was really mm-hmm. nice to put yeah. some flowers um, on her grave. But, you know, I figure uh, Mother's Day for me is any day. It doesn't have to be Mother's Day on the calendar. So, you know yeah. what I mean? So anytime I want to celebrate Keisha. Um, I can do that. How about you? I know that's right. Um, <laughs> I had a very um nice weekend. Um, mm-hmm. something that special can I definitely want to say a shout out to everyone for the prayers for mm-hmm. those of you, not all of you, but for those of you that knew about um our dad being in the hospital. Yeah. Thank you for the prayers. He is on his way out of there, y'all. You yes, look at God from the MIC unit. Now he's uh, you know, some levels down on the neuro floor and they're talking about sending him soon to a rehabilitation center and then next step home because he is ready to get back out there on that road. <laughs> now his wife is, they ready to get out there in um in the RV. Travel. But mm-hmm. right. But um and shout out to my family. Um this weekend has been lovely and I'm, I'm with you like Mother's Day, you know it's it's not almost every day. But yeah. you know but if, let me say this real quick. Let's bring Anthony back in and I'm gonna wrap this piece up. Welcome back. <laughs> For real you. this time. So, no, I'm sorry. You didn't miss much. We didn't get started. I was just saying, um, so Saturday, oh no, Sunday morning, uh, was well, Saturday. Mm-hmm. My daughter took me to the outlets and spent some money on me. My oldest cash at me some money, you know, and then um Sunday, uh, Miss China Doll cooked. And then Sunday night, my husband cooked dinner. Um, I can look. We still. That's why I like to say Mother's Day is every day because I can. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And my and Dominique had cleaned my bathroom, like for real, you know. But so welcome, <laughs> Anthony. Um, thank you. <laughs> thank you for joining <laughs> us. 
Uh, we appreciate you. So tonight's um, episode, and welcome everyone. I see people are still coming on on the live. Say hello. Mm -hmm. um, hey, Jimmy Chai. Hey, one JJ Laugh. And hey, Neek. And I see that there are some others. Um, mm -hmm. So on this show, Anthony, if you aren't familiar, what we do is, and it's funny because you were out with us eating, not even mm -hmm. knowing that we were preparing for this show, right? <laughs> right. And now so, he's not going to want to go eat no more. <laughs> <laughs> So tonight's review is on Hot Pot 757, uh -huh. okay? Um, I'm not sure if you all are familiar with that, but it is a, y'all help me out, um, Anthony, you definitely help me. It's like an Asian, Korean, I think Korean, right? I believe it's yeah. Korean. It's like uh -huh. a Korean style restaurant where you get there. And I think it's so called like Mongolian barbecue. Something yeah, like that. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, you cook your own food. That's mm -hmm. what makes this so unique. Yeah. You cook all of your food. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jeremy Chai. Um, yes, a Korean grill. Yes, mm -hmm. you cook all of your food. Okay. So, so let's start from the beginning. Go ahead. So, have some questions so they there. have one um, located um, I guess for our area, the closest one originally was in Virginia Beach. You know, Virginia Beach gets everything first. It's like the D.C. and New York of Virginia. Everything goes across the water, and then it slowly trickles over here to either Hampton or Newport News. So it's in but, Newport News. But there's some in your area, too, right, Anthony, in the Richmond area? I think there is one in Richmond. Um, I've never been to it, though, but there okay, is okay. one in Richmond. Yeah. Okay. So the one here in Newport News is um, uptown past Denby Boulevard on Jefferson side. Mm -hmm. um, it's right past the um, Navy Federal Credit mm -hmm. Union across from like East Coast, something like that. Um, it's the Romantic Kingdom, for those of you all that may be familiar, right directly across the street. <laughs> but that's where it's at. It's up there in that area. So um, was it a special occasion or anything when you all went, Ebony? Yes, um, we end up coming together to celebrate. In fact, Jeremy Child, we celebrated her. Um, and Anita said, Yes, there's one in Richmond. Okay, mm -hmm. we celebrate Jeremy Chai, um, aka China's 23rd birthday. Um, and we'll bring Anthony back when we come. His mm -hmm. her 23rd birthday. Um, it's something that she always wanted to try. She really loves this type of style yeah. of eating. And in um, fact, she was supposed to try her 22nd, you know, that wasn't successful. So, yes. Um, that's what brought us to the restaurant. And I want to say their opening day for us, was it her birthday? Was that her, the grand opening? Or was yeah, it her actual birthday? Because Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. What day was her, what day did we go? We went like a few, it was right not too long after the grand opening. When we mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So um we all know, so that building used to be um Quaker steak. I believe it was back in the day. Mm -hmm. So it's nice size, definitely. Definitely something. Um, another one of the rare finds that we've had that you can do different things there. It could be a celebration or something there. Mm -hmm. It could be a girls' night, you know, whatever you want to make it. Like you can be there. Plenty of parking, you know, all of that stuff. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. How was the bathrooms? Did you all do bathrooms at all? So first, let's back all the way up. Mm -hmm. So um the place on this particular day opened at I think one o'clock. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it was a was it a Saturday? I think it was a Saturday. It was help me out, Dreamy Child. Um, it was a Saturday. They opened up at <laughs> one. Yes, yes, Dreamy Child. You can do your uh, review in the comments. Right. Because she didn't um, want to be live in camera. Right. <laughs> so they opened up at one o'clock, right? And we got there, I mean, walking through the door at one ten. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And walking in at the door at 110, the parking lot was already packed. Yes. Okay? The, the parking lot, y'all, was already full. We walked in the door. Yes, it was a Saturday. We walked in the door. So we had to put our name down. Um, and I believe it was a 30-minute wait. So we sat outside. There's some seating areas outside, but not for you to eat. All of that happens mm -hmm. on the inside, but they must be familiar with it's going to be a little wait, you know? Mm -hmm. So we waited about 30 minutes. It was a nice day. Um, actually, we probably really only waited, what do you think, about 20 minutes, Anthony? Oh, it was a 45-minute wait. <laughs> Did it take the whole 45 minutes? Maybe we were running our mouth. Which is probably about expected, though, for like a grand opening of a place like that you know what i mean because they are well known kind of new something different you know what i mean yeah. so it might have kind of died down by now maybe no no but definitely probably not on the weekends like maybe if you go through the week 
you know, but on the weekends, I'm sure you're going to still get that crowd. I'm sure you're going to still have that weight. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, when we walked in, it was very beautiful. Don't you agree, Anthony? It was, it was really nice. Um, Tell them that what you saw walking to our seats. What was that like for you? Because that was definitely an experience. I think walking in, like, because I've never been anywhere like that before. Mm -hmm. It was like the atmosphere was, it was kind of calming and mm -hmm. it was, it was very nice. Um, it was a vibe. Yeah, it was. <laughs> um, seeing everybody and their families like enjoying it, I was like, oh, I can't wait to sit down. Um, yeah. But walking past and seeing the food that was in that middle bar part, and I was like, oh, yeah, this is about to be Yeah. Good. <laughs> so check this out. We're going to give you all more, but let's drop into the video really quickly. And then when we come back, we'll get more into it. Check this out. some stuff but when you get there right <laughs> but um it was different for me too so customer service back to that the young lady was very very nice um she was very pleasant in fact i even knew her she was asking me where my husband's at and everything. <laughs> yeah but anyway um very very sweet but not just the our server i felt like the servers in the restaurant was like full yeah. of smiles positive and very helpful um uh, because this place is a little different it can be overwhelming when you mm -hmm. get that menu. As you can all see, if you didn't catch it, it is a buffet. Mm -hmm. This is a different so, type. So let me ask you, because it is a buffet, like, so the service, is it just a come take your dirty dishes and refill your drink kind of thing, like your regular buffet? Or No, I'll let you okay. speak on this piece, Anthony. Go ahead. Tell them what I yeah. did. Um, so we had, like, one main server okay. who came, explained the barbecue, the hot pot, whole thing. Um, because as I was flipping through that menu, I didn't know what I was looking for. <laughs> I didn't know what. So she explained everything. Um, then she wrote down what we wanted, like okay. the hot pot or the barbecue, wrote down all of our food, and then... I think he froze up a little bit. So what he was trying to say <laughs> was... Um, Keisha, you, you, spe you there, Special K? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, I just want to make sure I ain't, I ain't like, hey, everybody's <laughs> But, um, so it's buffet, but they bring you everything, right? So the first thing you do is you have to decide if you want the hot pot, hot pot, or the, um, the grill, or okay. both. So I tried both, right? So the first thing she did was, and it's everything that you can get. I don't know if you all saw that menu with all those different type of meats, but it's everything and, and anthony's right it was a little overwhelming um so i tried both and then tell them so if i'll let you go with first with what you decided to try and then what did you have in yours so i got the hot pot just the okay. hot pot with the butter something i can't remember yeah, it was a broth yeah a broth so i got beef some crab some ramen and things and so you, they just boil in the thing and you have to, it, it did take a little minute for everything to finish cooking. Um, and some people at the table with the barbecue. So we were trying some of theirs, so I didn't have to get both. Um, but watching all the food cook and I was like, wow, this is a really cool experience. Just watching all the food cook in front of you, like you're doing it yourself. Um, and so then what's, once what's the difference in the barbecue? They're two different things, the hot pot and the, what's the difference in the hot yeah. pot and the barbecue? Go ahead. So the hot pot is like a broth in front of you. And it's, it's like, like a, a, in a little pot. Like a, I don't really want to say a soup. 
it, it's kind of compared to like for those of you that have had pho. Okay. Would you say that? Something like that? I've never had pho. Okay. Well, <laughs> it's like a, it's, or let's say soup in the American world, like a soup. Okay. But you, you get to choose your broth, right? Your flavor. Um, so did you like that flavor though? Okay. So I chose <laughs> um a spicy broth or something, but it the broth was really good. I will tell you this. If I had to go on a well, you're diet, boiling your stuff, yeah. In the broth. Yes, okay. in a okay. pot. Okay. In you, a pot. Okay. So I was took okay. a little long because we were cooking it on low. Once you okay. turn that bad boy on high, it cooked like it boiled like you could you gotta turn it down because it it boiled real, real fast. But okay. the broth was so good to me that if I went on a broth diet, I could have just you know drank the broth. Um, mm. in the chat, so your meats and vegetables cook by thank you by by the hot broth. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And the grill side was, um, uh, like so I had the grill. I had Mongolian beef, Mongolian chicken. I had some shrimp. I, you name, it, I had. I had some regular chicken. I had some vegetables. It it was such a variety of options to choose from. I mean, they had every seafood that you can name. You could get the, <coughs> excuse me, the crabs or the crab meat or okay. the shrimp, the mussels. I had mussels on the grill. They had clams. I had some everything. The grill, I would say this. I wish that grill part was either bigger yeah. or they had two. Right, Anthony? Yeah. Because okay. waiting for everyone to cook table everything or? that they had was a lot. Yeah, wow. it was okay. it was it was one per table. So go ahead, okay. Anthony. You said wait for everybody. What? Yeah, waiting for everyone to cook all the meat that they got was like you just had to sit there and, and wait, unless you just <laughs> divided up each part of the the mm -hmm. the plate thing. But yeah, they should definitely have two or make it bigger. Yeah, because so, so how about how about for the hot pot? If you got the hot pot, does everybody get their own individual yeah. one of those? Okay, yeah. okay, okay. but not the grill. When okay. you sit down, you're sitting down at a stove, like yeah. there okay. is an eye in right in front of you, and you know what I mean? it was an eye right in front of you, and that's where you put your pot. In the middle of the table, it was about six of us, right, Anthony? Yes. Six of us. <laughs> yeah. In the middle, it was the grill, and mm. you had to be careful. It wasn't really a lot of room. One thing I will say is. As you're taking your raw meats and putting them in the grill or putting, or putting it in your pot, they do come back and get your plates, right? Okay, okay. Um, I'm going to jump right to the chat. How did the pricing pricing work? So the hot pot was $26 or $27.99. So that's all you got. Yeah. On mm -hmm. both. I think it was like $29.99 it said. Oh, yeah, my bad. $29.99. Mm -hmm. And then like $33.99 it said. Yeah, so for mm -hmm. $4 more, you could get both. Now, mm -hmm. we're not saying do this, but I will say they're not sitting there at that table with you, right? right. So, like, Anthony had an opportunity while he was waiting for his pot to boil and to, to you know, partake in the barbecue. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, I got both. I think I enjoyed the barbecue more mm -hmm. um, than the hot pot, but I definitely would get both of them. You know what I mean? Okay. It was really good. The hot pot, you had your like your ramen. You said the um the grill. You had the option of like rice. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Um, but they keep bringing it out to it. Really, is a buffet. One of the things we learned early on is you can't um over. You don't want to get too much because they will charge you. For, yeah, like <laughs> if you just have you know think about let's say food. <laughs> yeah, and it's hot. It, it is really it's good quality food too. I will say that I didn't feel like I had scraps with any of the meats. I felt like it was good meat, um, and it was already seasoned. Um, yes, Jamie Chai says go on an empty stomach. <laughs> so let's go to the bar. Like Anthony said, when you walk in, there is that bar section, right? Those I was going to ask you about the bar because you they, you mentioned them bringing the meat out mm -hmm. to you, but everything else you get from the bar. Well, they bring you the meat, the veggies, the they bring you everything you're gonna eat. But the bar is special because the bar has all your sauces. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you wanna do teriyaki, you wanna do sriracha. Okay. They had like all the different. It was a, a bar full of sauces. Okay. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then they had some dessert. Um. Oh, that kimchi that you. Yes, had. that kimchi Tell was about so that. Good. <laughs> I don't know what's in kimchi. It just tasted like 
coleslaw to me. Mm. But it was really good. It was like refreshing. It was cold and like a contrast to the hot food that you were eating. Uh And then to have that cold kimchi, it was really good. And it had a spice to it. It, That was my first. It's very spicy. Yeah. But you know what? It was my first time trying it, and I'm glad I did. It was good. Oh, really? Okay. I've never tried it. When I've I've seen people that have it, and all that redness up there, I'm like, yeah, I'll just. I just passed. I'm stinks. hot just looking at that. It's <laughs> I feel like it stinks. It doesn't have uh, that too because it's cabbage, cabbage, right? Isn't it cabbage? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. But it's good. I, I saw, I took Anthony's lead. Was that your first time trying it? Kimchi? Uh huh. Yes. I saw it on TikTok and I was like, wow, that looked kind of good. But Listen, yeah. I found that out when I got back to the table. So, and then I seen, I saw Dreamy Chai getting some. Like, they're loaded up. I said, okay. So I got a little bit. And I said, I said, oh my God. I was like, I said, so y'all like this? They like, it's our first time trying. <laughs> but it was, it was really good. Um, I tell you, um, I, we agree. Going to empty stomach. One of the things that we took notes of. Well, you I can't did, go empty, empty. Because you know, you know when you go to the buffet and you're totally empty. That's true. That's you can't true. really eat. So you're going to have to eat some toast or something. To, that's you true. Know, maybe not a meal, but you'll be disappointed then too if you go on a totally empty stomach. We've done that before. Like, I, I ate nothing all day. I think on the menu it says a two hour time at your table because they do oh, want to wow, make sure okay. others. I don't remember them really rushing us. Um, okay. we, we definitely stayed a little over two. Uh, but yeah. one of the things that we noticed, I did a video and I forgot to send it to the producer, mm-hmm. and I probably shouldn't have anyway because you know, I didn't get permission, right? I recorded people, they were going to their vehicles so full. They were rocking. They were rubbing their stomachs, and I'm talking about all races, <laughs> all sizes. weren't they Anthony? Yeah, it was. It was, <laughs> we it were was like, funny. It was kind of scary because we hadn't got too we hadn't gotten too deep into our food. So yeah. I was like, I'm not gonna be leaving out here with all that rocking and stomach. <laughs> and oh my, those people like they weren't a burst wide open. But the reason yeah. why is the server stays coming back to that table. Yeah. Really? They don't, they don't care if you don't want the whole thing. For example, the first time we ain't know the better, we all, all these meats and vegetables, right? The second time, Anthony kept getting crab. I kept getting shrimp. You know what I mean? But they bring it to you. They bring you more of whatever you want. So, like, it was it was good. Uh, and did thought- you say earlier they charge you if you don't eat all of, like, if you have too much left, they charge you for that? Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now the price, I'm not sure if they weigh it. I'm not sure right. how to put it. It's kind of like at the sushi bar. When you go to a sushi buffet mm-hmm. bar, it's the same yes. thing. Yeah. Um, in, in the chat, Dreamy Chai said, we thought one lady was drunk. We did. Yeah. We yeah. thought the said, sadly, I was too full to eat mine. She was too full to eat all her food. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you, we thought one lady, the first lady we saw was like, she, what? But we knew she wasn't because guess what? They don't have an alcohol license yet. Yeah. Mm. So they they're doing this basic just on food, and then people are getting down. We're looking around, and because you know you make you you want to get your money's worth, you spend thirty four dollars. Right. You looking around. Another tip: don't get full off the drink, because you do yeah. want to enjoy all that food. You know what I mean? Uh, we looking around, and I tell you, those folks was in there piling that stuff up. Yes, it was probably mm-hmm. I'm um, really surprised they weren't more um kind of on you to see if you're like sharing or whatnot. Like mm-mm. you know how they do, you know yeah. what I mean? Like they real watchful or whatever. So if it's supposed to be per person or whatever, you know, I'm surprised that they but then again at the same time, I guess being that it's um you already really paid for the meat. It's not like you know what I'm saying. You, yeah. it's just the the grill itself. So they have one on the table. You know what I mean. So it's not like only the person with the grill actually paid for the meat, and then you all right. are sharing the meat. Right. So maybe right. that's right. why they're not too. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Too too focused on if you're yeah. sharing or not. Yeah. Uh, and I, I'm telling you, that food it it really is an experience. I'm so glad I experienced it. So let me ask you, Anthony, would you go back? Definitely. Um, <laughs> I I would definitely go with um, more money, but um, it was it was great. It was really fun. Yeah. Um, 
I would definitely go back. Um, the food was good and just the experience because yeah. I kind of felt like we were on a show while we were there. You like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Everybody has some different, different broths. Mm -hmm. um, and they bring you more broth. You can switch up the broth one time. Okay. And it was just really, really good to to just see how everybody at your table felt, but even to watch others. You know what I mean? So it's just um, once it's just once that you can switch up your bra. Yeah, you only can change your bra one time. So you can get okay. two different bras. That's okay. It. Okay. Um, and um, but the one I had had a really good flavor, had a little spice to it. Mine was Thai something, but it was okay. It was good. But um, it was it was dope. Um, the place it's good for a date night or um a celebration. Um, I probably wouldn't go there by myself though. What you think, Anthony? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't no. not. I haven't no. seen no table. Those tables, the way the tables are set up, is really like six people. <laughs> yeah. So I don't even know if they put you at a table with somebody. Probably not, because that grill. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, Dreamy Chai said the overall they overall want you to enjoy your experience. Yes, mm -hmm. they come back so much asking you, how did you like that? How did you mm -hmm. like this? Would you like more? They they definitely were not selfish at all. I mean, That's guys, good. Good. I got a little, when I start getting full, I got I start getting a little mad. Like, please do not. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, do you see this? You know. Um, Dreamy Chai also said they was happy to bring more meat out. Yeah. I mean, even, oh, they had steak up there. Special K. They had steak. Mm. Like, yeah, and they had like three different types of steak. So they had the okay. strong one, they had the ribeye, they had it all, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, it was so you cooked day. your own noodles. Did you have to cook your rice too? No. Okay. Okay. I'm glad you asked that because that's something I would not have wanted to do. Right. Yeah. You know, I'm not a be the best rice cooker, you know, maker or whatever. <laughs> so I am happy about that piece. Um, I personally didn't go to the restroom, so I can't speak on the restaurant piece. But the restaurant itself was clean. Every mm -hmm. time someone got up, they was wiping down the tables, chairs, grill. Mm -hmm. um, as your grill get old, remember, Anthony, as the grill got old, they bought, um, and, and, and shout out to Ariel, because she taught us this part. Yeah. Like, she's been in something like this before. She looked <laughs> at the grill, and when she saw it was burnt up, she said, no, they'll bring you another grill. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you just turn that one on. You have to wait for it to heat up, or it's just a... Okay. You do wait for, but it doesn't take long. Okay. Yeah, they spray this stuff on it, and then when that pretty much goes away, then you you can start using it. Okay. See, I think that was to make sure your meat didn't stick because we didn't have any. Issues. Oh yeah, probably yeah. Yeah, yeah, but that was, it was good. Like I have nothing bad to say. I definitely you know want to go again. Um, so is it kid friendly? I heard I you would, say yeah. it's like sitting at a stove and you got the eye. You know, in okay. front of you, which yeah. will get hot because I'm boiling this. Not little kid. Like, I don't okay. think someone should take their baby that's going to be in their lap. You know, it was yeah. a um, couple in there, but the baby was like in a carrier or a stroller or something. Oh, so, like, is not. there a kid menu or anything at all where they get something the different? The from? same thing that we eat okay. just okay. at a cheap price. So, they definitely want to be of a certain age then mm -hmm. when they come. Okay. Yeah. Because you want them to be able to enjoy. So, you know, if they're real young, they're not going to, they're not going to really enjoy, you know. Yeah. Another tip, I suggest going with someone that's independent. Um, <laughs> unless, you know, you have the patience to cook their food for them and yeah. cook their food, you know what I mean? Because um, I was saying to myself, I, I want somebody else to cook my food. It was a wonderful <laughs> experience, but it got to the point I wanted more. And it's like, it's funny because you got to keep up. You got to keep up with your pot. You got to keep mm -hmm. up with your grill. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so, Anthony, I was saying um, that one of the tips that I would give is to bring, yeah, everyone is on their own. Laugh out loud. Yes. Right, like, go with people that are independent. Independent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They really want the experience and you don't have to spend a lot of time. Now, I will say this. If you're with someone and they're handicapped and you have to assist, uh, support them, that's fine. You know what I mean? Have a heart. But Take them through the week when it's not as crowded. <laughs> that hard. Don't take, take them, them on the weekend. <laughs> take them through the week and put them on the end. Right. Do not let them sit in the middle where the grill is at because you all, you reaching over them trying yeah. to 
you know. So if it comes back again, we're gonna give our grade. But I, so I think if I was to go, I probably definitely. Um, I don't know. I guess you can go by your now. Can you do the grill and the hot pot? I did both. I mean, so if I'm by myself, I would have to. Is there a such thing? Because like, I'll do my noodles in that hot pot, but I don't want to boil. I don't want to boil my meat in that broth. Like, I y'all, I'm gonna take your word but for it. You know what? Food. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna need to put my meat on. No, the it wasn't that bad. <laughs> like, it wasn't. Mm -mm. It wasn't. Listen, it's. I'm gonna tell you I'm the broth. The bro I had broth. Let me tell you in that in that mm -hmm. boil pot, I had broccoli. I had corn. Mm -hmm. I had too much in my pot. I couldn't even stir my mess up because I just. But it was good. The broth cooks into your meat, don't you think so, Anthony? The broth cooks into it. You know what I mean? So, so it's I safe to just put it all in there at once. Yes. Or do you need to cook it separate? You know what I'm saying? Like, do uh -uh, maybe the girl, noodles don't need I to go them. as long as the meat, or no, just no, all I along. asked them. I asked them. Oh they wow. Said, yeah, they said so. Put it this way: the meat that is going to take whatever will take the longest, maybe put that down on the bottom. But there's okay. no, there's no rules because I, I add there's no rule. You just put it all in there. You know what I mean? Wow. Like that corn, that cor you know, just you know. So Anthony, tell us what is your grade? So this part. We Dreamy Chai yeah, said, yeah, yeah. Hold hold on, on, put noodles last. Yes, I agree. Okay. Thank you, Dreamy Chai. Definitely noodles last because you got to think noodles will get soggy. So okay. let okay. that meat get the boiling. It's amazing how it doesn't take long because I was worried about my meat being raw. But, it was, <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead, Anthony. What was your grade between A and an F and tell us why? Your overall grade. I would give it an A. It was okay. the, food, the food was great. That's um, probably our first really restaurant like, A. Yeah, it's like you can't really. The only way you would go wrong is if you did something wrong. So okay, uh, really, it it was great. The food was good. The sauces with it were great. Um, that kimchi was good. It was the service overall was amazing. Yeah. Okay. Was. Okay. I mean, even down to the people that came and got your dirty plate, they never had an attitude. They mm -hmm. were smiling about coming to get your plate. You know what I'm saying? But okay, my turn. Hold I'm, on, before you before you give yours, Dreamy Chai, um, put your rating in the comments since you went as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put your um put your rating too. And type why you gave it yeah. that. That's a good idea. Um, <clears throat> me personally, I give it an A. Okay. Oh, good, I give it an A. Um, even down to, I ain't gonna lie, at the beginning, I was like, $34, $34, but it was working. I can understand it because you, when I tell you that it's some of every meat, one, yeah. so you have several different pages on the menu, right? One is just all seafood, all different types of beef, all different types of chicken. Like, it's good. They got the pork. So I definitely give it an A. I will try okay. both again. Um, I really want to do it for a date night and my hubby go. But I don't know. He, he'll he enjoy the grill. You know what I mean? Um, Even Jeremy, though you had to cook all your food yourself. Yeah, because your rice. it's something about Y'all gave it A's. I know. Okay. I know. I paid all that money. I had to cook that. Food That's myself. what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. But it was, it was good. <laughs> I paid thirty four dollars to cook my food in your restaurant. I know. We got to open up one. We right. got to open up one. But I'm not going. You're not going to have no seafood and beef. That sounds expensive. No. Okay. Chicken mm -mm. and veggies. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I'm gonna have right. stuff like bologna. Right. Giannis make your own sandwich. Make your own bowl of cereal. I'm gonna let you do whatever you want to do in my restaurant. <laughs> Long okay. as you came for it. <laughs> Dreamy Chai. Dreamy Chai gives it an A. She said the experience all oh, nice. was, was great. Like I can finally say yes. I went to a Korean barbecue. Everyone was happy to be there, even the workers. Yes, everyone was happy to be there, and that's really, really, really dope. Dope. So listen, you well, all. I'll tell you, my baby. I asked her Ariel because she went with y'all. Mm -hmm. Um, she didn't really give me an in-depth reason as to why, because she said she enjoyed everything. Mm -hmm. And I asked her how the people were. She said everybody was really nice and everything, but she gave it a B. Okay. So I don't know if she's comparing it to um, maybe the one across the water, because her experience when she went to the Virginia Beach one, it didn't sound like it was as good as when she went with you all. 
And I don't know, maybe it's the crowd, the company that you went, you know, as well. And maybe too, the first time they went, I don't think they really understood how everything worked. So this time when she went, you know, she had a better experience. So she gave it a B this time. Because I think when she went the first time, I don't think she read. Remember I told you, I was like, Erica says she didn't like it. But this yeah. time. Out of, all of us, out of all of us there, I think Ariel was really over cooking her food. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I'm she enjoyed it, you know what I mean? But I like, especially at grill, she was just looking like Okay. Uh, you know what I mean? Oh, she was trying to wrap her mind around, around why I didn't pay $35 okay. to cook my food. Let me try to say in the chat that Ariel wants the girl to be bigger. Yes. Uh -huh. she, and, and something else is you have to, and I know we're going to leave this alone, but you have to pay attention to that grill. Okay. If you focus so much on your pot, your food will burn. It is a uh -huh. grill, y'all. Like It cooks uh -huh. and it cooks fast. You know what I mean? Yeah, so but yeah, but thank it you. It sounds like it might need to be a tag team kind of yeah. thing, you know what I mean? Like yeah. That's everybody kind of watching every because you know what I mean? Like you get caught up in conversation with somebody and somebody didn't bowled over, somebody didn't burnt. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, poor we need to probably tip Ariel. We had Ariel sitting in the middle, and she she Ariel had oh, she got just the grill. But she okay. did, yeah, she did just grow, but she did a lot of flipping and throwing meat on people's yeah. plates and stuff. You know, <laughs> like he and her and get your steak so I can put my shrimp in there, you know. Um, but yeah, and, and something else, they're very sanitary. So they, they use a tongue just for the raw meat, okay. another tongue for your daddies, you know, things like that. But it was really a good experience. But Anthony, thank you. I'm so sorry. Thank you, so Anthony. Much. Thank you so much for like, I'm sorry. It was. It's I don't know what's going on, but don't worry about it. Don't worry, don't worry. About it. But, um, it's it's technology. It's yeah. technology. It's all yeah. good. Trust, trust guys, we've been through this. Okay. Yes. Yeah, but thank you, <laughs> and I cannot wait for us to get together and go back. See how Miss Ebony yeah. just rose. <laughs> I did. Yes. did I? Technology. Is it a storm coming? Well, y'all know I'm, I'm in West Africa filming tonight. Girl. <laughs> All right, now for real. Love you, Anthony. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. Bye, thank you Anthony. So, um, thank you again, um, Anthony. Thank you again, Dreamy Chai. Yeah, she was thank you, Dreamy we, Chai. Yeah, we had Ariel in that middle work in the meets. I, I working my baby. Me. Did y'all tip my baby? I said All we need to work. We need to. But listen, we're going to jump straight into this commercial break. When we get back, we're going to do a quick chat before we get off here. Special K got a good topic. You know, we're thinking outside of the box tonight. Stay right there. Welcome back. Welcome back. We hope you all enjoyed that. Just a quick rundown. 
Um, Special K, I'll let you speak on the Wives Conference coming up. Okay. On the Wives Conference with um, Coach Nick E., Miss Nicole Ellis um, will be June 23rd through the 25th. So that 23rd, that Friday night is an <laughs> evening um, session. And the Saturday is just during the day. And then that Sunday, um, we'll all come together for church. It's going to be out Hampton at the Messiah Center off Pembroke, I believe it is. Mm -hmm. It's the church that has the um, Chickasee. I think it's a chicken seed, the chicken seed um, that's connected. But um, Deb, this is a fifth year. Um, awesome, awesome speakers. Awesome, awesome <laughs> vendors. We actually have room for two more vendors. Um, if you're interested, um, inbox myself or uh, Miss Ebony for details. Yep. All right. And then as you can see, we have an upcoming event this Sunday, May the 21st. We're going up to Richmond again. We're going to support another love movement um, yes. event. Um, it's a day brunch. Excuse me. The event is free. Um, mm -hmm. If you all are available, excuse me, please come up there with us. We're looking forward to that. Now, the food isn't free to get right. in the event. It's right. Free time. Mm -hmm. We strongly suggest you all um, to get there early. It is from 12 right. to 7, but um, mm -hmm. there's no reservations or anything. First mm -hmm. come, first serve. But we are looking forward to going up there with our, some of our sisters from Positive mm -hmm. Vibes. <laughs> And so it's going to be a good time. We're we'll looking yeah. forward, you know, good vibes. And then um, June 2nd, the first weekend of June, uh, the Bethay Foundation is doing another give back. They have a basketball mm -hmm. tournament for women. The third and fourth. Yeah, the third. Thank you. The third and fourth. Um, they're having a gala um, out in the in Newport News. They have a May the 19th, you all, is the deadline for that scholarship mm -hmm. contest, okay? It's $5,000. You can yes. put a lot mm -hmm. for $5,000. And they're, I think they're giving out two, you okay. know. So please, um, the criteria um, on the requirements to, to qualify is on the flyer. <clears throat> we will drop all this information in the Chat and Shoe mm -hmm. Facebook group. This is why it's so important to be a part. You got to be over here on the YouTube community to watch us live or even our pre-recorded. And you got to be over on Facebook over there to catch everything else. Okay. So let's get into two, two more. I want to mention that weren't up there on the thing. Um, it's for a nonprofit uh, friendship lottery. You might have heard us uh, speak of them, speak about them um, here and there. They mm -hmm. are having a sneaker ball. Um, June oh, the yeah. 3rd, I believe it is. And the proceeds, I think it's like $25. The proceeds for that is going towards the Autism Crush Festival, mm -hmm. which they do every year. I believe this is the fourth year. And they choose two families on the spectrum and give them $1,000 um, each. And then they donate to um, other organizations that are doing something um, with autism. So please, please, um, if you can, if you're available, we'll drop that information, like she said, in the Chat and True, Chat and True group um, on Facebook. And then Verdell Holly um, is doing a fish fry. She's mm -hmm. doing a dinner this Saturday, but your orders have to be placed by Wednesday. Um, she is. She also has a nonprofit, and her proceeds from her fish fry dinner, they're only $10, y'all, for a whole dinner. I mean, mm -hmm. eat bread, two side items, dessert, and a drink. $10. Can't beat it. But she does a breast cancer um, gala every year, and mm -hmm. all of the money goes towards um, someone like um, Hampton University with their proton that does like the research and the helping of those with cancer. So y'all please make sure you get out and support as much as you can. I know you can't support everything, right. but uh, what you can, please do support. Yeah. Oh, and there's a deadline for that fish fry. You have to pre-order, right? Yes, yes. Well, I'll drop her flyer. Um, Wednesday is the deadline. You contact her is um, order in advance, order and pay in advance, because uh, she doesn't want to run out. And then she doesn't want to have a whole lot left over. So she is okay. only cooking <laughs> for whoever has placed um, an order. Um, if she hasn't met her goal by Wednesday, I'm sure, you know, she might take a couple of more or what have you. But she absolutely is not taking any on Saturday. Saturday will only be for those who have already paid um, and placed the order. You know how they do. They're like, oh, I only got 50. Mm -hmm. And then 10 more people come along. You're like, yeah. oh. I found some scraps. <laughs> no, she only has enough for whoever has prepaid. 
<clears throat> so you are less, 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 less support. Yes. Even if you don't eat fish or even if you're not mm. in the area, like, and listen, when Special K dropped this information, cash app that sister with them $10. $10. Right. $10, y'all. $10. I know I'm giving me a fish down. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so let's get into it. We are uh, wrapping up tonight's episode, but we're going to have a quick chat with you all before we get up out of here. So what you got for us tonight, Special K? So um, I thought about Mother's Day and Mother's Day, well, Mother's period and, you know, fathers, um, but mothers mostly when I, because it was around that time when I, when I was watching a movie, but it was sacrifice, you know, I thought about sacrifice and how much we sacrifice, mm -hmm. you know, so much of ourselves, so much of our life. Um, usually for somebody else. And we usually do it with the intention of out of love. You know, we think we're sacrificing for something, you know, that's better for, you know, someone else. So mm -hmm. I was watching a movie, um, okay. short, short um, version of it. I was watching a movie. I can't remember the name of it, but it was a couple. They were married, been married 10 years, mm -hmm. trying to have a baby. So the gentleman, um, he wanted a, a child, of course, just as much as his wife did, but he found pleasure in helping other children. Mm. Um, I think she was okay with it, but at the same time, maybe not, you know what I mean? But I don't think she tried to, she tried not to let him see that it kind of bothered her mm -hmm. that these weren't hers, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Whereas he was okay because he figured, you know, whether it's natural born child or somebody else's, it's a child that he just wanted to love on. So she ended up after 10 years um, filing for divorce mm -hmm. because she said that she was sacrificing um, mm -hmm. her marriage and what she wanted because she wanted him to be able to have a biological child, natural wow. born child with someone else. So, you know, she went on and on about how this was a sacrifice and she was doing it in the name of love, da, da, da. But he was like, but that's not what I want. Yeah. You know what I mean? I want you. There are other ways that we can have children and we can love on them or whatever. So what she called a sacrifice and she did it, you know, in the name of love, I guess on the other hand, you could say, well, it was kind of selfish. Because she says she was thinking about him, but if you were really thinking about him, then you would have found some kind of way to maybe, you know, find a middle ground, adopt, foster something besides um, divorce. So I started thinking about me as a single mother, right? And how tried, you know, the relationship thing when my kids were younger and that didn't work out, right? Mm -hmm. So I said, well, I'm gonna sacrifice me mm -hmm. and not do the relationship the relationship thing because I don't want all these knuckleheads or whatever um, being a bad influence in their life, right? Mm -hmm. But then when my children got older, I was like, mm, was that really a good mm -hmm. decision? Because at the same time, I had two girls and a boy. So mm -hmm. at the same time, that, that son, didn't get that um, male role model or father mm -hmm. figure, you mm -hmm. know, in his life. So I'm like, you know, somebody that could have helped him, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, we had our talks, you know what I mean? Well, we were very I open with our talks, but still there are some things that he probably only would feel comfortable asking a man, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. then my girls, they didn't see the reaction, you know, the interaction with mm -hmm. man and woman, right. how they right. just need to like, Mama won't plan, mama didn't take, but I didn't want them to grow up and be just this like hardcore, yeah. that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it made me start thinking like, well, gosh, I really was sacrificing what I thought was mm -hmm. me, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And relationship wise for them. But at the same time, was that being selfish? Like, should I have, I don't know, tried a little harder to find mm -hmm. that one or whatever so they could have had more of a male figure, you know, yeah. um, in their life. So it just really got me to thinking like sacrifice. We say that all the time and mm -hmm. we claim and say that we're doing it in the name of love, but mm -hmm. is there maybe like a little selfishness, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. To that, um, as well. Yeah. Um, you know, we have grown up, heard that word sacrifice, yeah. sacrifice, sacrifice. And, um, you can, it, it can be a little selfish, you know, um, because a lot of the times people yeah. are making all these sacrifices and it is affecting your health. Um, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? It can affect your mental, your well-being, you know. Um, another one that I think of when I think of sacrifice is like 
um, growing up, when I was a single parent and then watching my mom as a single parent, mm -hmm. working all those jobs, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, she worked, 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 worked. I mean, she went to work in the daytime. She worked, she went to work at night. So there was a point of time, you know, she did, she felt like she was doing what she had to do, right? Mm -hmm. So, Absolutely. you know, when you got married and you moved out, you know, we're six years apart. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I know, yeah, I probably got older, but no, no. <laughs> but um, when you got married and moved out, it was just me. I kind of felt like I was living on my own. You know what I mean? Um, and she she still made sure like the food and stuff was cooked, but right. I, I had to do the cleaning. I was in, I had like my own place, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I kind of like comparing the two with, you know, your, your lifestyle, my lifestyle, I grew up kind of fast, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And my mom worked those jobs so she could not only provide, but to give me the things that I wanted, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I kind of feel like, um, she did what she thought was best, but right. Watching that though, growing up, and I was a—I uh, mean, then when I became a single parent, I kind of feel like you and I changed the dynamics. Now mm -hmm. both of us still worked a lot, but we made sure either you were home or I was home. You know what I'm saying? Right. One mm -hmm. or the other. You know what I mean? Because um, I do feel like um, if she didn't make some of those sacrifices, some different things would have transpired. You know, I became a teen mom at an early age. Mm -hmm. No, it's not her fault, but at the same time, if I had more of that, you know what I mean, parental in the house. You know what I mean? Right, because I was gone. Yeah, and I was, gone. I was mama number two that kind of <laughs> put all that in check. So yeah, so you yeah. were there by yourself. Yeah, absolutely. And one of the things that um I like, like now with me and you getting older, right? Mm -hmm. It's not the problem making Sacrifice, but at the same time, we know the importance of you don't have to sacrifice yourself, you know what I mean? Like, I like how you still make it, you're still making sacrifices, right? We still make, but at the same time, you have made a point to make time for yourself, you know what I mean? So many parents neglect themselves because they just work and work and work, they're not, they're either working or they're making sure, like you did all this time with your children. But mm -hmm. now your kids are at an age that that now you're making sure that you do put yourself first or, or give mm -hmm. yourself more time. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You want to speak on and, that? And, and that was years of that because, mm -hmm. again, it's this sacrifice, you know? Sure. So I didn't do the dating thing. Mm -hmm. I didn't do, I mean, it was just me, you know, and the kids, you know. You didn't um, even spend money on yourself. No, no, not for real. <laughs> and they, and if they gave me uh, money for gifts or whatever, I just put it <laughs> right back. And I guess when, and when they noticed that, they started buying things. They were like, "No, mom, we're not giving you money. We're gonna give you stuff. Like, what's the, what's the stuff that you want to item?" Because mm -hmm. they knew that, like. I was just going to, you know, put it back on mm -hmm. them. And then as I got older, you know, now that I'm older, um, and I thank God that I don't feel like, um, like I got cheated mm -hmm. along the way at all mm -hmm. with putting them first mm -hmm. because I knew that like they, they get a certain age, like there is an age that they mm -hmm. get to. And then I can say, okay, so now it's Keisha meets world, world meets Keisha. You know what I mean? And I think that's all maybe kind of like a matter of um, what people need individually, you know, yeah. in life. Because a lot of people ha have said to me, well, you know, a few people have been like, well, but you, but you didn't do you, you know, nothing was ever, you know, about you. And, but even though it was all about them for those years, I don't feel like I missed out on anything for me personally. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So now I just feel like, well, whatever I didn't do then, I could, you know, just do now. Even though I will tell people that it doesn't have to be a lot of time, but take some time for mm -hmm. yourself in mm -hmm. self-care. You know what I mean? That doesn't mm -hmm. mean just go out here and, you know, be wild because, but just little things along mm -hmm. the way. And that's what we should just do, period, mm -hmm. you know, throughout life, you know? Yeah. And another thing we were saying, I know you and I were talking earlier, and we were saying how um, parents sacrifice, and it's always work, 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 work. Mm -hmm. So 
we sacrifice and we work like that because we're trying to provide for our families. But we miss PTA meetings. Yeah. We miss football games. Mm -hmm. We miss all those things that the kids are like. And that was something that I experienced. Like, I didn't really do a lot of this. I did sports for a little bit. So I wasn't really pressed on, like, them coming to, like, sports events. Mm -hmm. But I would have other things that I would be participating in. And even down to, like, awards assemblies. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Especially, like, when I got in tag. And I'm, like, the only black kid in here. And I'm I'm with my all A's and, and, like, Nobody was there to mm-hmm. celebrate that, you know what I mean, with mm-hmm. me. Like one year, I didn't even go. And the principal the next day was like, you you get a, one of the highest mm-hmm. awards in the school. Like, where were you? Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, you know, I wasn't feeling good. I made up some excuse that, you know, I was sick or whatever. But I didn't have anybody to come. So I felt a certain way and mm-hmm. I just didn't go. So I tried to make sure, which, you know, you as well, that as our kids growing up, that was one of the things that we made sure we did. It's like, yeah, I got to pay this bill and yeah, I got it. But at the same time, I got to show up for them. You know what I mean? Right. I got to show up at the games. I got to show up at the PTA meetings. So I guess when you sacrifice, it's like, it's cool, but it has to be balanced mm-hmm. for, you know what I mean? For mm-hmm. both for both parties, you know? Mm-hmm. And it's not even just a single parent thing when it right. comes to that because um, it could be a two parent household. You know what I mean? Right. Um, and it's not just a woman thing either, like right. Stella's. And if, you, if you're not watching, send it to a male. Um, you know, growing up, and then even today's time mm-hmm. is work, work, work. Men are raised that they have to just spend all this time working and paying the bills. You know what I mean? Right. So because they work so hard or spend so much time, you know, working whatever it is, when they come home. They're not even mentally at home a lot of times. Right, a lot of times right. they're coming home, they're not talking to the children, they're not talking to the wife. They are just coming home and they, they're resting their mind because they already spent so much time working. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then what happens is you out there working. And so because you're out there working, um I went away. What what was that? Okay. Yeah, that was a nice um it was. Why did it go away? Uh-huh. Okay, I have it on the phone. I can't see it on okay, I can see it down here. But um, and what happens is you spend all that time working, so you're not only not giving the time to your children, but you're not giving the time to your spouse, and because and then because you're not giving no time to yourself, you definitely not trying to give no time to your spouse, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So definitely have that balance. And I'm gonna tell you, do you know how we look at it now? Life is short, yes. And, uh, yes. uh, you know, life is short. Something that we have learned is, yes, it is true indeed that, you know, you have to make sacrifice, right? You have to, you know, but spend time with your family. Spend yes. time with yourself. Make time. You got some relatives, you know, I'm speaking to myself. You got some relatives that work, I mean, live out of town. Go see your relatives. I'm going to mm-hmm. read this in the chat. Um Dreamy chat for us. I don't even eat seafood and let me order. Um, she is speaking of uh Verdell, you're still <laughs> up here. Shout out to you. Um, she's speaking of when we were uh, promoting the upcoming um fish sale that you're doing, a fish fry that you're doing for the get back for breast cancer awareness. Mm-hmm. Uh, Verdell also said one thing I can say, I made sure I was at my track, my son track meeting and school meetings. Yes. My kids was upset that the other parent was there uh, and I wasn't. Even mm-hmm. though I worked, I had to make time. It was hard. Yes. Yeah. Yes, 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 mm-hmm. Verdell. That is mm-hmm. true. It's like you have to make time. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, and that's the sacrifice. The sacrifice, the real sacrifice is doing both. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. that's it's, it's easy to say, oh, well, I'm going to just work and pay bills and I'm not going to go over here. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Or I'm going to do whatever, whatever with the family and I'm not going to date, you know, da, yeah. da, da. but the sacrifice and the hardness is finding that balance yeah. to do both. Well, I can work, provide like I need to and still show up, mm-hmm. you know, for the kids. Yeah, that's good. And, and, yeah. and you can because I did. I was yeah. and, I, and I got it in. I worked, I spent time with my children, mm-hmm. and I dated, and I got married. Mm-hmm. 
But um, that's okay. That's okay. That's fine, girl. You good. <laughs> but listen, don't you all go anywhere. We have a quick. Are we doing it? Okay. We have a quick um, video tribute to all the moms. Um, also, do you have the names that you want to shout out yes. real quick? Okay. So we, we tasked you all over in the Facebook mm -hmm. group and said, send in some names of some special moms that you want us to honor. And with that comes a gift. They're going to get a card, a gift card, and another gift. Okay. So go ahead and give those three names, um, Special K, and then we're going to jump into the video. And wrap so up. we appreciate all the pictures. Um, and things that were sent in, we honor all you ladies, even the ones that weren't spent, sent in. We honor all the moms on Mother's Day. But like um, Miss Ebony said, um, we chose three. So the three that we chose was Naira. I hope I'm saying this right. Naira Taylor, which okay. is was sent in by her mom, Miss Kenyanda Nash. Mm -hmm. And then Jasmine Cash and Lacey Harris, which mm -hmm. both were sent in by their mother, Miss Verdale Holly. So yep. we'll get with um, the moms, because we know both those moms. So we'll get with the moms to make sure that their daughters um, get their Mother's Day from WWE. Yeah. And shout out to uh, Verdale and Kiana for even nominating their daughters because yes that how proud you are of them for just and being a mom you know what i mean mm -hmm. so shout out to you all um mm -hmm. so we're going to jump into this video we're not going to come back um thank you but do not leave us too early okay you gotta check out this tribute we thank you all for joining us tonight don't forget, it's another Chat and Chew Live episode, May the 21st, it's on a Sunday. We're going live, y'all, at the mm -hmm. event. Okay? So and please ahead. be sure to check out all the flyers. We're going to drop them yeah. um, in our Facebook Chat and Chew, all the things that's going on with Bethe. Again, the fish fry that's going on with Verdell. Wow. Verdell, we shouted out your fish, your fish fry. So they'll be contacting you. All her information is on that. And also the Friendship Lottery with their sneaker ball. We love you guys. All right, stay right there. Mm -hmm. 